guys, Organized Elena, and today's video is on the top four planning mistakes that most people make. If you feel as though no matter how hard you try, you just can't get your day straight, you can't plan accordingly, then this video might be for you. You might be falling into one of these four categories. So let's get started. But first, are you subscribed? My name is Organized Elena, and I do life and money organization videos. If that interests you, make sure that you click that subscribe button as we would love you to be a part of our little family. Number one, you are not writing anything down. Either you aren't creating lists, you aren't writing anything down, you aren't putting it on your phone, you have no system of keeping track of how you plan. This is mistake number one. You definitely need a way to plan, whether it's Evernote or Trello or my favorite, a planner, you definitely have to figure out what your system is going to be. And also, if you once you find out your system, you have to make sure that you stick to it. Having your plans in a bunch of different areas will also be a planning fail. So step one for you is to find out what is the system that works for you. Whether it's electronic or paper and pen, definitely get started there. Planning mistake number two, not giving yourself enough white space. If you plan every minute of every second of every day, then you're most likely going to fail at your plans. You have to give yourself some white space, some space out to plan for things that happen unexpectedly. If something comes up, then you want to be able to move and adjust your plans or even be able to move things to the next day. But if you plan every minute of every day for an entire week, then you will feel overwhelmed very quickly and will be less likely to get things done. Number three, you don't have a consistent planning routine. If you plan whenever you may feel like it, then this can be an epic fail. More than likely, I will plan on a Sunday afternoon when I know what's kind of coming up for my next week. If you have a planning routine, it becomes less of a chore and more of an assistant. And that's what you need to make sure that you're using it for. You don't want to feel like you're overwhelmed with the planning process. So you want to make sure that you consistently put it in your daily routine on a certain day. Then that way you'll make sure that you do it. Number four, not evaluating your planning system. If you don't evaluate your system, then you're more likely to fail when it comes down to planning. I made this crucial mistake after I had my first child. After my first child was born, I could not get my system to work correctly, so I just kind of put planning aside for about six months until I realized that I was not getting done as much as I needed to get done. And what I really should have did was evaluate my planning system to make sure that it still worked for me. Things change, major life changes all the time. So you have to be constantly evaluating your system to make sure that it works for you. You may have to switch from paper and pen to electronic or maybe from electronic to paper and pen. But you should be constantly evaluating your planning system to make sure that you are actually getting all of your plans done. Well guys, I hope this video has helped you. If you need more planning videos, make sure you click the links above as I have plenty of plan with me's as I record them weekly on Sundays. I'll talk to you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.